Hey guys, it's Nate here. Welcome back to some more Skyrim. In the last episode, I died in this weird place. I'm so greedy. I just want to... This is the place I died at. I guess it's the light or something. But... I'm so greedy. I just... Oh god. Okay. Yeah, it's that light. So I gotta stay at that light. Oh, that's how other people die. Okay. I see. What was this? I guess a tripwire? What are those light darts or something? Apparently, I'm not supposed to go in those. And because this room is dark, I can see why. It didn't look very welcome in the first place. Run, 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 run. Oh god. I, I don't get what the problem with my problem with light is. I mean, I'll, I'll do whatever the game says, but I mean, I don't get it. That's bright. Ah. Oh wait, let me read the journal. I might give me some sense as to what's going on. Not throwing our journal. Nice jumps. Okay. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. I guess that was two uh, sentinels in the first room. Above all they stand, vigilance everlasting. Beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. So I guess why I couldn't go in the light. I'm guessing it's the second test. So the third test, offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. So I'm supposed to reject something. I would not I was gonna save, but I would not like to save in a place looking as scary as this. Alright, that scared me a little bit. I just didn't like the way that save file picture would look. Alright. That's a nocturnal, correct? I want to make sure, because I want to I want to take it. But, I think I might die. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. What, what does she desire most? Wait, what, what, what does she desire most? I don't, I don't know. If I were to take... She wants. And what you want? Obviously, whatever it is, we're supposed to open the door. Am I dropping frames again? Oh no, my thing lagged for a second. All right, capture problem solved. For the sake of me not looking stupid and oh wait oh pull team um oh no oh god okay let's go let's 
cool. Okay. I didn't see that much of a test. I was about to say, straight away is frightening me. I think a master lock scared me. Even if I didn't have a skeleton key, I got lockpicks for days. I don't want to jump. Thinks it was a dormer boss. A lockpick of skill can't go up, sadly. Now we're not prestiging it. Whatever that does. Hey, frost songs. not feel right. I feel like whatever that thing was with the statue consult in the book again. Two, three, four, five. Direct and yet indirect. The path of salvation, a root of cunning, with fortune betraying the foolish. So there's something that's valuable that I'm supposed to not take. That's going to be very hard. Okay, good. Okay, that's not the result I was expecting. expected those to stop, and they did. Awesome. This place is huge. Is that a place I'm supposed to go to? I'm saving. Some places do not look inviting. Oh god, double doors.
Are you serious? This is the only way I'm going through? message. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized Nystrom's clues he collected from Lythalus. Lythalus, I slit his throat. And now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Wait a second. Did I just... Okay, that scared me the way I put my weapon away. Oh god. I was just about to say, did I just do the same exact thing Andrew just did? Alright, saving. This looks cool. Wait, the center, okay. That looks really cool. Things are scaring me. I'm too jumpy. The way I put, the way I put my weapon away, though, the, the way I put it back so fast. Oh god. Oh god. Um, is that Carlisle? Okay, good. It's Carlisle. Okay. It's been a number of years since I've set foot on Where'd your... Where'd you come from? Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the like, key has to be been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. All are very nice. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Achievements not. are good. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for love. I'm rich. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See you with the key stayed this time, won't you? Carlyle, not that I'm glad to see you, but where did you come from? Not that I'm not glad to see you, but where did you come from? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. True, true. What's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of Shadow. The half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. There was something about that, but I forgot what it was. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the second and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, 
You can't reselect for at least a day. Oh, that's fine. I can wait. I have the wait power. Now, your life as a nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the sepulcher in order to defend it. So if I'm at home, and I'm summoned, do I just teleport here, or is it just a nocturnal in my head kind of thing like it was with Meridia? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. Oh, that's good. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The ending of this quest line, I assure you. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with uh. coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. I like her. Oh yeah, this is what she told me. It's the agent of stealth. The agent of stealth is the master of remaining. Manipulate darkness on moonlit nights, on moonlit dark nights or in darker rooms, rooms. The agent literally agent becomes trick. invisible. The agent of subterfuge. Shadow to cloud. By weaving the darkness, weaving the darkness to their, to their will. will. This agent can manipulate others into fight fighting for me. This agent Lydia. of strife Lydia can send forth a tendril of pure tendril darkness, of pure darkness the heart of causing great injury to them. At the same them. time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force. Making him stronger. Wait, wait. Say it again. This agent of strife. Tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great the injury to another. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Actually wanted. <gasps> Alice. Oh, I forgot to mention they used to be lovers. I feared I would never see you again. Pretty important. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlisle. Gallus. Yes, Nightingale? What is it? How will I know if I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. Oh, that's the way fast travel here. That's how she got here. Okay. But I could have sworn she was in the Thieves Guild. Never mind. I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? I would love to see her. Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow. The realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows. 
So I did want the thing of strife just because it sounded cool. But okay, that's a I would say what are these things? Portal to entrance, portal to entrance. I'm aware of that. Is the Nightingale Hall or the Twilight Sepulchre? I was so mad when I was in there and I just realized what he said in that note. He obviously didn't have the skeleton key. Oh look, purple. <gasps> and not only did that scare me a little bit, that's actually pretty cool. So it never lets me go in there again. I'm not, I'm not gonna test it because all it's gonna do is make less time for recording. So I didn't get, I think it's the end of the Thieves Guild quest line. That's the wrong tab. So that's done, and I like that. But what about this achievement? One with the shadows. I'm gonna look that up real quick. I thought you had to get to the end of the Thieves Guild quest line, because I did all the stuff. Oh wait, maybe I should go back to Delvin. Or bring you off. Because I'm the I'm the guild master now. I just remembered that. I haven't had Lydia for two episodes, including this one. I think I drop frames while I'm in the internet. No, I don't. Okay. It would help if I had two two screens. Well, I do have two screens, but I haven't connected them. All right. Skyrim. The one with the shadows. Hey, no, no, you're suspicious. Stay sharp. What the rebels like to forget. Keep an eye out for Stormcloak spies. Hey, look on. Okay. There's the other stuff I want to do, but let me just look up this stuff real quick. Um. Shadow marks, connection with the Dark Brotherhood, joining. Under new management. That's a mission after this. So not the end of the quest line just yet. Prerequisites, Dainty Slowed, Somerset Shadow, Silver Lining, Invitation Amnesty, Darkness Returns. Under new management is the final quest in Thieves Guild within the Skyrim. The Dragonborn assumes a role entitled the Guildmaster after completion. It requires all special city quests from Delvin Mallory from Delvin Mallory not including larceny targets, as well as the entire chain of main quests to be completed. The special city influence quests are offered by Delvin only after the five small jobs being completed in each city as follows. Whiterun, Markarth, Windhelm, and Solitude in order to restore the Thieves Guild influence within that city and across all of Skyrim. Review the small job and city influence quest section for details as well as the condition of tips. Uh, quest giver Brynjolf. So yeah, we just have to go back to the these guilds right now. I'm not walking all that way. That's why I took a carriage everywhere. There was a guy who was talking about an orc camp, and that's this one. I made the mistake of thinking that they would be hostile immediately because it's called an orc stronghold, but they actually welcomed me with open arms, but the first thing I did was kill someone with my bow, but I always get concerned if I kill someone who has a name because they might be a quest giver that'd be friendly. The only person that's ever been killed um, while I'm fighting was a person in Morthal. All the way up there. It's a person in Morthal, and it was because a dragon spawned there. It wasn't that double dragon that I fought before. Alright, so I'm gonna put the Nightingale stuff. Well, no, I should keep it. I'm gonna keep it on for right now. I'm going to see what Brynjolf wants. Because he already named me the new Guildmaster because Mercer was dead. And I was thinking Brynjolf should do it, but... Uh, 
he was thinking, everyone's saying that I'm a really good thief. Did I select Riften or the Thieves Guild? I selected Riften. Oh, it looks pretty. Pretty. I have to stay close to my microphone. At some point, Carlyle, when we bought her back, people in the main hall didn't know her, like Vex, Dirge, and Delvin and such. Did you want something? But yeah, when I, I got to the door something. over that uh, connects connects a cistern to the ragged flagon, uh, that did scare me. Hmm. It's good to see you in one piece, lot. It's good to see you in one piece, love. You just said that. I just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. The guild is back on its feet again, and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the skeleton key? That's it then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex, to make sure the coin keeps flowing, and no one skims. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the guild. May it last another thousand years. I feel like I just finished the quest of new management. Rain off, wait off. Oh crap, did I glitch it? Did this mission glitch? I think, cause, look. I'm gonna look at the fourth one conspiracy for a second, because I was confused as to why there was no mission objective. There was no, uh, input about it. Alright, that's not what we're concerned about right now. We're concerned about this thing. Rain off. Well, my friend, the time's come to make it official. It's time to become our guild master. Don't worry. I promise this will be I'm short and okay. sweet. If you'll just meet us in the center of the cistern room, we can begin. So where are you going? I was just about to say, so where are you going? Oh, hey, everyone's here. Br oh, okay. <laughs> but this is real. That's just Thryn. That's just Thryn. Okay. I just want to save this. I'm saving this as it's going on my computer at school. I'm saving this as a screenshot. Okay. Video. Yeah. Here. Look, I've never been good at these things, so I'm just going to keep it short. Because Raven was being there. guild master oh, means more than just it. getting a cut of all the loot. It's about being a leader and keeping this rabble in order. With that in mind, I propose that the position of guild master should be yours, Delvin. Agreed. Vex. Sure. Why not? <coughs> Carlia. Absolutely. Everyone is in agreement. So all I can do now is name you Guildmaster. And wish you good fortune and long life. Now everyone, get back to work. My dad's... Yeah. So that a pupil is the boss, die. Good shot. We're all rich thanks to you. Cheers. Well, looks like you're running the show now. 
Maybe I can learn why Sapphire has her name. I can't think of a better person for the job, Nightingale. I just remember that. I think by now, most within the Guild are well aware of what transpired between Mercer Frey and ourselves. The notion that the Nightingales are a fictive group has long since passed. If you wish to wear your Nightingale the, the within the Guild, of the house I'm certain that no one will give it a second thought. And apparently my I'm cat is a trap cat. Of inner peace. Yeah. Something I haven't felt in a very long time. Instead of being clouded with thoughts of revenge and retribution, I feel only serenity and fulfillment. Of course, I've been also dabbling in my old pastimes as well. Take a look around, and feel free to share the fruits of my labor. May the shadows guide your journey. I promise to live up to your expectations. I think everyone's waiting for the ceremony to get going. It just did. I think everyone's waiting. I am at your service. I don't understand it either. They were a sure thing, I swear. Long as you continue, you just better hope this one isn't another waste of my coin. Glad to see they picked the right person for the job. We're all rich, Maybe. thanks to you. I suppose Cheers. congratulations are in order. Now don't screw it up. Well, I looks like you're down. running the show. I'm usually not down here. Just to be all cinematic and stuff. I've got your back. All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Can't do that. Sorry. Anything else? What can you not do exactly? Oh, this is better anyway. You need anything. Anything at all. Don't hesitate to ask. Take a good look around you. Have you ever seen the guild in such a prosperous state? With Mercer Frey gone and our influence spreading across Skyrim. The guild's earned a new level of respect it hasn't seen in decades. I couldn't be more proud to be part of the Thieves' Guild. Or its new guildmaster. Oh, stop. Well, that's it. Sorry if it isn't the ceremony you were hoping for. But we're not exactly known for throwing our coin around. After we're done, head over to Tenelia, and she'll set you up with your guildmaster armor. armor. Oh, and one last thing. Here. I want you to take this. It's sort of a tradition around here. Did this get refilled? I still can't activate that for some reason. Pick. He used to be scared because Mercer was camped out over here. Alright, my game is dropping frames. I just realized Tenelia wasn't here. That means she's in the other room. But I just realized it was the game music. Here's to a long and prosperous future. May the guild last another hundred years. Delvin, not Delvin, bring you off something very much different. Take a look. About hundred years off. Oh wait, actually I do have stuff to sell you. You may have stuff I want. Lydia's not using her dangerous bow. I looked up. I looked that up, but I couldn't find anything to help, but it's annoying me. She's using her freaking Imperial Bow. Persuade checks and dialogue will almost always succeed, and Speechcraft is 20% better. Awesome. If 
my health. It was at some point where uh, Tanelia seemed broke compared to everyone else because I always have so much stuff. So I always went to Narania before I got all my other fences. I usually use her more anyway. So like, I think she's Dark Elf or some, something, I forget. As you can see, most of my soul gems are in this place. Yes, and I'm more than happy to give it to you. I mean, look at this place. I've never seen so much wealth down here. You've made us all yeah, rich. Yeah, I can't look around like that. Here you go. Should fit you like a glove, boss. <laughs> yes, I got the achievement. Until next time. I want to put it on. 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 Wait, let me do it like this. Okay. I think Wendy's only a little bit taller than me. I have no idea. Alright, I'm putting it on. But first, I can see my face for the first time in forever. Like Brandy Elf. Uh, okay, how much? What's the armor rating on this? It's only 90. While this does look good, basically being the. me with a visit. What can I do for you? I like this level of respect. If you get arrested, it's on your head. Even if you're one of them. Dirge. Always a pleasure, boss. I don't care what if you're best buddies. Yeah. The last person that made trouble for Veckel ended up floating in the canal. Catch my drift. Actually, after all this, I can put my Daedra coming back on. I can't put on my white run chest because almost all my previous inventory is in there. I was gonna put it in the one over here just because it has less stuff in it. I'll show you what I know. No, I leveled up all the times. Forgot about that. My perks haven't leveled up in forever. Right, so as soon as I put this stuff back in my chest at Honeyside, I shall end the episode. now. Let's see, stuff like this. I don't know about this. This. I don't know if I want to do that. I haven't found someone I could do I could do that to yet. Uh, this. I don't know about this. I kind of just found that one. And everything else. Oh, it's a miscellaneous quest too. I'm pretty sure enjoying the Storm Club Rebellion and stuff like that is, uh, um, is part of a quest line, I'm not sure. But this, uh, this goes with the quest, the story of the quest. There really only a few things on there, but, uh, anyway. So as I open Honeyside, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, 
uh, this has been very fun for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Favorite it if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe for more for Gamers on Diesel Mode. And I'll see you in the next episode. Before I say go shares, there's the, the house crawl in here. Please say it. Honor to you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but for some reason when she said honor to you, my thing, the emphasis she puts on you, she lets me know she's talking to me. It's awesome. Um, I'm gonna... Actually, no. Wait, should I? 28... 32. Yeah, I'm gonna put it away. Put it away, put it away. Put it away. Yes. Away, put 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 away. I do need to upgrade that Thieves Guild armor, but I don't have any leather on me currently. Nor do I have any animal hides. I have no idea what Finn's loot is. Before I end the episode, look that up. Before I end the episode, look that up real quick. So let's save here. stuff trying to find out where my capture went, my screenshot went. Finn's loot is a unique item desired by Inge Six Fingers at Solitude's Bard's College. It can only be found in Stony Creek Cave. I'm, I'm already I've already become a bard, so Okay, so rewards. Grants plus one skill points, all skills. Under the Thief, Light Armor, Sneak, Lock Picking, Pickpocket, Speech, and Alchemy. Alchemy is a Thief uh, skill? Okay. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will do that in the next episode. Like it if you did. Favorite it if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe for more for Gamers on Deuce Mode. And I'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna go to sleep. But in the next episode, go shows.